Hello, namaste. I just want to bring up two websites today that um, specifically for people that are still watching TV, which I know it's still like high in the numbers and you know, it's like gradually going down. I mean, like people are waking up more and more, you know, they're kind of like seeing this grand illusion, which, you know, the Maya, this, you know, this whole world we live in is just an illusion essentially. But I just want to bring these up, um, talking about how basically, you know, these false flag attacks and everything, they're just essentially staged, right? So this first one is crisiscast.com and you can go on here and, you know, this is just going to be a quick video. I'm just going to put out the websites here. And, you know, if you know people that are still watching TV, share this information with them because maybe they're not even aware that this is even a possibility. You know, they, they still believe that, you know, the news that they see on TV is the reality. And, you know, the fact of it is, is there are some news stories that are real. You know, if there's like a car accident in your local neighborhood, chances are that it's, you know, it's real, you know, especially if you like, maybe it was one of your coworkers or whatever, you know, but, um, you know, I'm talking specifically about like huge events that there's enough evidence that we can kind of see that a lot of these have been staged. And um, before I bring up the Crisis Cast website, we can even see pictures here of like these crisis actors that have been seen in like several different um, emergencies or crises. And we can see a couple of these photos here. And it's just funny because, you know, they, they're they supposed to be acting. They're talking about something. They're laughing. I mean, if you're talking about, like, an explosion that just happened, why, you know, if it's real, why would there be people in the background laughing, for example? So um, here is the, um, the website here. Award-winning uh, role-play actors and filmmakers, especially trained in disaster and crisis management. And we can see here, like, they help police, army, emergency, hospital, school, uh, local authorities, government, blah, 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 blah. These are, this is uh, specifically in uh, the UK. And you can go ahead and go through here. There are some videos. There's a video under aviation that kind of, like, you know, and you you watch the videos and, you know, since they trigger the emotions, since we're like really emotional because, and I'll tell you why people are so emotional, because our body is like 70 to 75%, even more water and emotions are ruled by the element of water. You know, in yoga, we talk about the second chakra. This is all second chakra energy or reproductive, you know. Our body is mostly water and those emotions are ruled by the element of water. And, you know, these, this is why we are so emotional of creatures and the people that make money know this and, you know, in advertising and marketing, they trigger emotions. You know, you see uh, commercials where, you know, the mom is with the you know, the daughter or the son, you know, with the grandma or, you know, whatever. Then they're like, you know, I don't know, taking a walk on the beach and, you know, they're happy and, you know, something happens and they're so happy that it brings tears to their eyes, you know, and you, you feel like triggered by this, right? This is just, um, this is some of the marketing techniques that they use to trigger that because, then we make a compulsive purchase or we make an emotional purchase. We feel connected to that, you know, situation or that scene that we saw. And these, you know, the news stations do the same thing. You know, you have to think of it. And news, you know, all they're doing is making money. You always have to follow the money on this planet because this is a money planet. This is a material planet. It's a money planet. You know, if money disappeared tomorrow, would any of these things exist? I don't think so, because there would be no reason for people to make them. 
Because why would you do this if there's not some financial gain behind it? You know, think of, you know, think of the world if there was, you know, we didn't have to have money to have a house. We didn't have to have money to eat. We didn't have to have money to eat, uh, to drink water. <laughs> you know, how different would life be? We would only create positive things, you know, out of the self-expression, self-creation of our soul. There would be no ulterior motive, you know, ulterior economic motive to do these things. So they wouldn't, they simply wouldn't exist. Um, you know, and if you have any questions, uh, comments on that, I would love to hear your comments too, because obviously that's, that's what I feel based on, you know, studies that I've done, research that I've done, you know, if we take away the money, the world naturally seems like it would be a different place. I, you know, unless there's evil, you know, there are a small group of evil people in the world that may still have this motive, but you'd have to see how they would function in a world where there was no longer money, you know, because at least in yoga, you know, we talk about different planes of existence even too. And the higher up spiritually you go, there is no need for this kind of, um, you know, manipulation and control. It just, it doesn't exist. So that being said, let me get back to my topic here, the, the crisis actors. So this is just one uh, website, um, you know, that hires people to play actors in various situations. And we can go to the next one, crowds on demand. So <laughs> if you are a person that still watches TV, you know, this whole um, BLM thing, this, uh, you know, do your own research. I'm not gonna discuss it in this video. BLM, uh, George Soros, go ahead and look it up and do your own research. That's all I'm going to say about it. But we talk about protests, rallies, uh, political events, PR stunts. Okay, so they're basically, if you need a large crowd, you can contact these people. Um, and they're specifically in the U.S. Uh, you can basically have a crowd on demand. So what do you need? You need a BLM crowd? You can contact these people. You need, um, you know, refugees crossing the border. You can contact these people. Anytime you need a big crowd, you can contact these people and they'll take care of it for you. Um, you know, and these, uh, they've actually, they had some, uh, ads on Craigslist and I don't, you know, this is just information that I seen on the internet that this was actually a company that had posted on Craigslist. So those were just two websites I wanted to bring up. Um, you know, crisis actors and, you know, crowds on demands. So when we watch the TV, you know, we have to think, you know, is what we're watching, how do we know that this is actual reality and not just a staged event? So question comments, you can leave them below. Um, also, any other links that you have, um, leave them below so then people can share this information freely. And if you like the video, go ahead and hit like and make sure to subscribe so you can follow any other new videos that I put out. And namaste.